Oh crap, I still have to review a game for Christmas. You may remember that a few years ago, around Christmas time, I reviewed two Christmas-related Pac-Man rip-offs. 3D Maze Man in Winter Wonderland, and Pack Guy Christmas Edition. And the latter was actually a game included in this disc called the Pack Pack. So I figured that this year, why don't I review the rest of the games on this thing that I didn't look at before? And this is in no way a lazy choice of game because I couldn't find a Christmas game to review in time. No way. Happy Holidays! Before I get to the other games, I should talk briefly about the Christmas edition one last time. I already reviewed it, but when I did, I actually didn't even read the instructions. You can actually shoot the enemies and kill them. This makes the game... annoyingly difficult, while before it was straight up impossible. In my defense though, it is not my fault that I didn't know this. It tells you to press F1 to bring up the instructions, but it says this at the bottom of the title screen in little tiny letters, and the title screen flashes by in less than two seconds. So I literally didn't have enough time to see the words at the bottom of the screen before they just went away. But anyway, I have the instructions now, so let's give it a read. Apparently, the goal of the game is to collect all of the pellets and the two igloos, so that the antimatter pack guys will disappear. What the hell is an antimatter pack guy? The instructions talk about these things like it's just common knowledge. Oh yeah, just collect all those pellets to get rid of those antimatter pack guys. <laughs> those guys really are annoying, huh? But ridiculous premise aside, does the game hold up any better now, now that I know that I can shoot? Well... No. Not really. There's still a bunch of random clip art and graphics that look like they were made in MS Paint. The game is extremely simple, and yet it somehow still fails. The controls feel cheap, and the sound effects are annoying as hell. But... at least I can shoot now? But actually, hell, even with the shooting, it's still not very easy or fun. You can only shoot once per power-up, and you die in a single hit. These two enemies tend to go down in this hole and stay there, and it's pretty hard to kill them. And if you've already used up all four of the power-ups in the level already, then you're screwed. And if you get cornered near the start of a level, then you pretty much die instantly, because you'll just respawn immediately and then immediately die again. And upon beating the third level, I blow up a... science... thing? And a... spaceship... comes and... Huh? What? And that's it? Three levels? That's the friggin' game? What a ripoff! But hey, that was just the third special edition of Pack Guy. We've still got the original Pack Guy, Pack Guy Resurrection, and Pack Guy Atomic Edition to play. And then there's the sequel. This is really quite the bargain. Wouldn't you be thrilled to get one of these things in your stocking this year? I mean, oh boy, that would be just the Best Christmas ever! It'd be almost as good as getting a box of anthrax for Christmas. Alright, so what does the Pack Pack have to say about the first Pack Guy game? The first game in the series, Pack Guy has earned much recognition. <laughs> eh, I, I really shouldn't be laughing at this. This is, the, this is the second video that I've done about it, so. Having been rated the best Pac Man game. What? What? No! No! Look, I get that you're ripping them off, but you can't just say in your game that it's Pac-Man, okay? Like, they're not even trying to hide it. Best arcade game... Ugh. A Pac-Man ripoff with style? They actually said that. Discover gimmicks? They use the word gimmick to sell their game. Okay, I'm done. Let's just play it. It can't get any weirder than... It's the music from Doom. just it's just ripped straight from it from from doom you know doom one of the most famous games of all time doom surprised i even noticed it it was it was so subtle it's from doom okay sorry i'm just i'm just having a little bit of trouble 
processing how weird this game is, that it even exists. And it gets weirder. This game is much longer than the Christmas edition and features cutscenes. And not a single one of them makes any logical sense. I mean, at all. We've got spaceships, we've got helicopters, we've got it all, folks. The graphics, the sound effects, the controls, it's all on par with the Christmas version. In fact, when it comes down to gameplay, there's very little new to say. We've still got random blinking blocks and random clip art. The AI is still really random. They never really go where you think they're gonna go or where they logically should go. Really kind of makes you thankful for the AI in Pac-Man. And don't worry, folks, we might be playing a different version, but the deathly screaming still happens upon death. Actually, it's in all of the games. Plus, the enemies often scream when they die. And they sometimes use a different scream sound effect altogether. But don't worry, every time you die, it's still very loud and frightening. I mean, if it wasn't, then it just wouldn't be Pac Guy. So I enter what seems to be a water level, and... Oh. Oh no. The music. It's the Little Mermaid! It's Disney music! The fr What? What? Ugh, uh, just, this review has just boiled down to me reacting to all this weird stuff. Can I even use the music from this game in this video? I mean, it's probably all stolen. I was giving them the benefit of the doubt before. I was assuming that either the music was public domain or just crappy little chiptunes that they made themselves. But after the Doom theme at the beginning and now this, it's probably all stolen. I don't always know where from, but I wouldn't be surprised if every single bit of music that plays in these games is from something else. I think I'm actually going nuts. Let's just... Uh, let's just move on to another level. I need to calm down. Okay, one last note on the stupid, weird-ass, blatantly illegal game. Often, I'll go to pick up a power-up, but it's actually a bomb. So... Yeah and it's often pretty impossible to avoid touching them. So, yeah. And hey, look, more Star Wars. It's the Empire theme, of course. Because when I think of a little yellow ball man saving the universe, I think Darth Vader and the Emperor are scheming, doing a, doing a little scheming. And I can't even move from the starting point of this level without dying. It's literally impossible. Look at this. Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm moving on to the next one, Pack Guy Resurrection. And I gotta say that I'm kind of starting to realize after playing this that this isn't the most Christmassy and or holiday-y game that I could have played. So I think I'm just gonna throw in a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, all that crap. I'm just gonna throw those in every once in a while from now on just so that I can trick you guys, remind you guys that you're watching a Christmas-based video. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone! All right, on to the next game! Pack Guy Resurrection is... It's just the same stupid game again! Like, the exact same game! It just boasts slightly better graphics. And I do mean slightly. And there's a new intro at the beginning, which somehow makes the non-plot make even less sense. And then the game froze on level three. So yeah. I guess I'm already done with Pack Guy Resurrection. On to the Atomic Edition. Okay, so the plot of Pack Guy Atomic Edition is that Pac Man's arch enemy, Khan. has dropped an atomic bomb on the city. So I'm now seeking revenge or something. Apparently, this edition is literally just the first four levels from the first game, and there's no real improvements or substantial aesthetic changes. This is just so lazy. What's even the point of this? And actually, I mean, the levels are slightly different from before, let's be fair. But still, all that's really different in this game is that you're now holding a large gun. No point to it though, since it does nothing. You still need to collect the green power-ups in order to shoot, so the graphic of him holding this gun is pointless. The enemies are also faster. I couldn't even beat the second level. The enemy was super small, and he was like three times faster than me. 
You know, it almost seems like the sole reason that they made this Atomic Edition was so that they could reference Star Trek. I need a drink or something. Happy Holidays. Okay, well, we already looked at the Christmas one. It really saddens me that that's the best one so far. Like, really, really saddens me. So we're moving on to the sequel. Let's get this over with and then we can all go home. How's that sound? And, okay, here's the deal. This game is better. It's not good in the slightest, but better. The graphics, still awful, but they seem slightly better. The gameplay, it's mostly the same, but a few levels are different. This level has me avoiding laser fire. It's not too hard, pretty boring, but hey, at least it's different, that's good. There's this level where you're zooming down a road. It's supposed to look like it's in 3D, but honestly, it gave me a headache, no joke. Looking at this level for so long is like an optical illusion. It just strained my eyes to stare at it. And also, why do I feel like I'm having flashbacks to something else? But yeah, this game still sucks. For basically the same reasons they all suck. I don't think I need to explain why anymore. You can all see it, right? I almost feel bad because, I mean, this is an indie game. Like, two people made this, I think, so... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be ripping it apart so much, maybe it's not fair, but... I mean, they had to have known that people would. I mean, you can't make a game like this and then not expect people to rip it to shreds. It's so stupid, it's so bizarre, and it takes itself so seriously, it's like they were inviting people to play it and then laugh at how dumb it is. Also, Castlevania music. It's now playing Castlevania music. Because why not? And I beat it. God freaking damn it, I actually beat it. Merry friggin' Christmas. So I confront the leader of the board. Oh, by the way, they ripped off the board from Star Trek. They're now called the board. Yeah, it's really creative. I mean, I mean, really, what do I even say at this point? Pat Guy has a butt crack. I only now just realized that. Okay, that's all that matters. I mean, who cares what the board are saying? Pack guy has a butt crack. They felt the need to put that in, so I feel the need to mention it. With the power from the wall of lights, the board will be unstoppable? What? And then the Borg board leader guy gets killed? By the light? Okay. Pack guy then jumps into the light. Uh-huh. He left the kids behind, but you whatever, whatever. And then... Um, uh, of course, it's, it's him, it, it's Pac-Man, it's, it's Pac-Man, they put Pac-Man in it, sure, you know what, I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised anymore, I may never feel surprised ever again, balance is restored, Spagroon, it's all saved, sure, whatever, and then he leaves, oh, hey, look, it's, it's Khan, here you are, poised on the brink of eternity. Where will you go? Back to your own planet? To Spagroon, perhaps? Perhaps you will join me in another world altogether. We do have a score to settle. Ultima 7. Don't think I didn't get it. They were ripping off Ultima 7. Part 2, I think? I mean, I just don't have anything to say to this anymore. It's just so stupid. I think... I think this wins. I think this wins the Stupid Award. This is the dumbest game that I have ever played. And that is really, really saying something. Merry Christmas. Okay, so more of the same. It's dumb as crap. It's... it's Pack Guy. It's an MS Paint circle fighting against clip art and stolen music. And more parodies of Ultima games. And Star Trek. Alright, you know what? No, I'm done. I'm just gonna power through the rest of this final game, and then I'll be done with it. It's playing Mega Man music, by the way. That's not me playing that music, that's from the game. Because why the hell not?
Does he scream like that in all the other Pack Guy games? I'm asking you, because God knows I'm not playing him. God knows I'm not playing him. <laughs>